This is 47th Street and 5th Avenue in Manhattan. And 47th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue is the world famous Diamond District. Now, diamonds are worthless and not worth your time or effort, but gold and silver aren't. And they can be good insurance policies against inflation or in a shit hits the fan kind of scenario. In this video, I'm going to tell you what to buy, what you should never buy, how to buy it, and how to store it. And my advice is unbiased and I'm not affiliated with any company trying to sell you any kind of gold or storage or anything like that. If you decide you want to buy gold or silver, your first decision is which one to buy. So if you don't have a lot of money to invest in precious metals, then you should probably buy silver. But silver is kind of bulky, and so the more you buy, the more space it takes up. So if you have a pretty good amount of money and you want to invest in precious metals, you can buy mostly gold with some silver as well. Maybe 80% gold, 20% silver, or something like that. Silver takes up a lot more space than gold for the same amount of money. So if you're going to spend a lot, storage can start to become an issue. Let's start with gold. There are a lot of stories out there of people, especially older people, getting ripped off by these so-called gold companies that advertise on news programs. And people are convinced to invest in numismatic gold, which is another name for collectibles. So they might try to sell you something like a 1907 St. Gordon's graded MS-62 or something and tell you it's worth like $5,000 or something ridiculous. Uh, they tell you that it's collectible and rare and is going to go up in price. And this is where people get ripped off because they pay crazy prices for so-called numismatic gold, but they're paying many times more than the actual gold content of the coin. They're paying for the so-called collectability. Now, gold is an investment, not a collectible. So if you're trying to sell your gold in a shit hits the fan scenario, no one is going to care what year your coin is or how it's graded or that it comes in a nice little plastic case or something like that. They will only care how much pure gold your coin contains. That's it. So that goes for silver also. With that said, what gold should you buy? Well, buy coins because bars are easier to fake and less widely recognized and if you are in the u.s then i would recommend you buy any combination of gold american eagles or gold canadian maple leaves or gold south african krugerrands these are some of the most widely sold and recognized gold coins and are very easy to buy and sell now since silver is much cheaper than gold, it doesn't matter as much whether you buy coins or bars, just make sure you don't pay too much over the going spot price for an ounce of silver. So what is the going rate? Well for gold coins you shouldn't pay more than about 4 to 5 percent over the current spot price for an ounce of gold. And this goes for silver as well. So let's say gold is right now about $15.50 an ounce. 4% over that would be about $66 an ounce over. Okay, and silver is about $18 an ounce. So 4% above that would be about 72 cents an ounce above the spot price. So now that you know what to buy and how much to pay, where do you buy them? Well, you can buy them from a coin dealer in your town or you can come here to 47th Street and find a coin dealer on here or someplace like 47th Street. So always shop around for the best prices and use that 4 or 5% premium as your guide to see if you're paying too much or not. And you can also buy straight from the U.S. Mint or from the Canadian Mint also. Um, another place to buy is from legitimate online dealers like Kitco and Atmex. 
Personally, I like AppMix and have bought from them and even sold to them before. So let's look at some examples of what to do and what not to do. So here's the AppMix website and you see gold is $15.55 an ounce and silver is $17.99 an ounce. So here are some numismatic collectible old gold coins, right? This is the stuff that they overcharge you for. I'm not saying that AppMix is overcharging you. These are the collectible markets, but if somebody's trying to sell you this gold coin for sixteen thousand um, dollars you know when things are really going bad you may not get anything close to that sixteen thousand dollars and the amount of gold in this coin is less than one ounce of pure gold so it really has less than fifteen hundred fifty dollars of pure gold why would you pay 10 11 times the price of the actual gold inside i wouldn't <laughs> let alone forty-two thousand, whatever so this is the type of thing you should not buy and never let anybody convince you to buy these so-called numismatic rare coins this is more what you should be buying okay one ounce american gold eagle uh as low as fifteen hundred ninety nine dollars that's if you buy a hundred or more if you buy one to nine you're paying sixteen hundred and fourteen so that's about sixty dollars over the spot price which is about four percent or so um, maybe even a little bit less okay but say four percent um, so that's pretty good because the American Eagles normally are um, have a higher premium than say the Krugerrands or the Canadian Maple Leafs. The Canadian Maple Leafs are even cheaper here, okay, or, or about the same price, as low as 1587 if you buy 100 or more, but 1602 if you buy between 1 and 9. So in this case, they're about the same as the American Eagles. And the Krugerrands are even cheaper, uh, 1584. So that's about a $30 premium, right? So that's about 2% premium over the spot price. So that's a very good price. Okay, and let's see, as for silver, you can go crazy with silver also and overpay. You have these West Point minted one ounce proof coins for $64.50, but it only has one ounce of, of uh, silver in it. So you're paying about four times more than the actual silver content in this coin just because of a mint mark or that it's shiny proof coin or some nonsense. Uh, a better thing to buy is a regular one ounce um, silver American Eagle is $20.38 and for between one and nine is $21.58. Now, to me, that's kind of pricey because that's what, a three and a half dollar premium over silver at $18. That's, uh, that's almost a 20% premium over the spot price. So if you buy this, when silver is 18 and you're paying 21 and a half, silver has to go up 20% just for you to basically break even. So why do that when you can buy the bars and buy a very low premium price on the bar? So these 100 ounce bars, now you have to buy them in bigger quantities, but for instance, these 100 ounce silver bars on the secondary market, meaning Whatever they have in stock, they'll send you. Sometimes it's an Atmex bar, sometimes it's some other kind of bar, but they're 100 ounces of silver, and you can get these for 1838, which is like what 38 cents above the spot price per ounce. So that's about two percent over the premium, which is a great, great price. So that's how you buy precious metals smartly without overpaying so that you don't have to wait for the precious metals to go up a lot before you break even and you're not going to lose your shirt when you finally try to sell them. So now that you have your precious metals, where do you store them? Well, first, 
let me tell you where not to store them and why. Never store them with a company that offers to sell you the metals and store them for you without you ever having them in your possession. So they say, just order online and we're, we'll buy it for you and we'll hold it for you and we'll send you an email with your personal serial number of all the bars that you own with us that we're storing in our vault for you. Um, they store them in like one vault with other customers precious metals and they use all kinds of fancy terms to confuse you and you know legalese like allocated bars or unallocated bars or they tell you here's the serial number of the bar you own or whatever um, all of this means almost nothing because when times get tough you'll find out that you don't own what they told you you owned and now you are a creditor to a bankrupt company. So you might find out that a hundred other people uh, were told that they own the same bar with the same serial number that they told you you owned. And this is exactly how banks started. Okay, people would deposit their gold with a local goldsmith and he would give you a receipt and eventually people started using those receipts to buy and sell things with merchants or whatever other people. Uh, the goldsmith realized that most people didn't withdraw their gold often so he starts to lend out the gold for interest and eventually he prints out more receipts than the gold he has. And the receipts are used like money to buy goods and services. And as long as everybody doesn't collect their gold at the same time, he is okay. These days, the governments like the U.S. just print the receipts in the form of dollars with actually no gold behind it. The only place you should store them is in your own house or in a bank safe deposit box or other storage facility where only you have the key to your own box. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. And the reason for owning precious metals in the first place is that it is the only store of value that has no counterparty risk. And one last thing is the question of precious metal ETFs like GLD and SLV. Should you buy them instead of physical metals? Well, the short answer is no, if you're buying them for a kind of shit hits the fan scenario, because you can only get cash from selling them. You cannot get delivery of actual gold or silver from the ETFs. Uh, if you are buying gold or silver for a shorter term trade, then it's probably okay to buy the ETFs because it is much easier to buy and sell and you don't have the premiums to worry about like you do with the physical metals. So you can just buy and sell them like you would a stock. I hope you learned about the pitfalls to avoid in buying precious metals so that if you decide to buy some, you will do it cheaply and smartly. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.